In this problem, we have a horizontal beam pinned on the left. We would like to hold the beam in this position by attaching it to a block. The attachment involves a cable running through a frictional spool. We suppose that the parameters A, B, alpha, beta, and the weights of the beam and the block are given. Our task is to determine the minimum coefficient of friction necessary for holding the beam in the horizontal position. We begin by drawing free body diagrams for the block and the beam. For the block, I have the normal and the friction force along the interface, the tension and the cable, and the weight. For the beam, the forces at the pin, the forces N and F generated by these two forces, N and F, and of course, these pairs are connected by the third law, the weight of the beam and the tension in the cable. Of course, we didn't consider a free body diagram for the pulley. We just simply set T on this side of the cable and on this side of the cable equal. Now, we can proceed with equilibrium equations. For the block, we write two force equilibrium equations. We don't write moment equilibrium equation simply because the location of M along the interface between the block and the beam is not known. Next, for the beam, the only equation we write is sum of the moments about A. This equation does not involve the reaction forces at A, which we don't need to find. And if we write down some of the forces along X and Y, this will help us to find the reaction forces at A. Finally, we combine the equilibrium equations with the impending motion condition. And now we can combine the two equilibrium equations for the block, one equilibrium equation for the beam, the impending motion conditions, for four unknowns, F, T, N, and N. It's easy to manipulate these equations and to solve them for mu, and we obtain the answer. This is the desired result. As you can see, it's not simple. And in principle, equilibrium may not be able to attain. You could see that the denominator can be equal to zero, depending on the choice of W1, W2, and the angles alpha and beta. But we are not going to consider the design stage of this problem uh, where we should choose optimal parameters to hold the beam in equilibrium. Thank you.